Barbie week here on the doll circle and I'm so excited so 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 excited because <laughs> I got an old Disney Barbie and I'm gonna open her so don't show my mom this video because she'll be like why are you opening up an old Disney Barbie keep them all in box but she's so cute and the box is pretty damaged I bought it knowing the box was damaged because there's a local thr kind of like a consignment shop but it's not a consignment shop it's more like a thrift store um that just opened up here and I saw a big sign and it said Barbies on it and I was like oh I gotta go in and she didn't have that many Barbies but she had a couple good ones and I got this for a really good deal it was only $15 so I thought for the price it was definitely worth it for how old it is because it's from 1994 and it's a Disney doll so I was like, I had to get this. And it was pink. <laughs> so it's like, come on. Perfect, perfect thing to get. And I'll show you guys first the box, just because I try now not showing the boxes of too many of the dolls, because I know people want to really just see the doll itself. But like I said, they don't make this doll anymore. It's older, uh, harder to find. So it's like, I might as well show off the box a little bit. And it's really, really cute. I like the placement of how they have the doll in here. Let me get up so I can like show you guys a little bit better. How like there's fireworks in the background. It shows her kind of like walking almost. And I kind of like that like doll in motion inside the box, which I thought was a nice little thing that they did to her. Now here it says that it is a Disney exclusive. Um, and it says bring home the magic, which I thought was really cute because of course that's, you know, what they say for Disney. And this is Disney Fun Barbie. Now they made a lot of Barbies in the 90s and I think in the late 80s. Yes, late 80s too. Uh, for the Disney stores uh, that you could pick them up at Disney. I think some, I don't know if they had Disney store exclusive and Disney World exclusives. They might have had different ones. I'm not 100% sure on that. I gotta double check with my mom because she actually has almost all the Barbies, like the 20, 25th anniversary Disney Barbie, the ones from all the different years, the gift set packs that came with like Ken and a Skipper and all those. Um, like I said, this one is the one from 94. I like how the overall packaging is really simple, but it still has like the Barbie look. So I know like one thing when I buy like the Disney dolls, they have like their own unique like kind of clear packaging now and they have only princesses. So I'm kind of sad that they don't make Disney Barbies anymore. I thought that'd be kind of cool to like keep it going. So I don't know if the sales weren't high enough. I don't know, but I'm really sad about that. So I really hope Disney decides to bring them back because I would definitely be buying them. And the back of the box here shows her walking in the park. It has like blues behind her and stuff so again really really super cute and on the bottom it says barbie is having hours of fun on her magical disney day and i thought that was so 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 cute and i cannot wait to get this out of the box <laughs> again it's so cool to get something that i remember coming out as a kid and now here it is over 20 years later and it's just like i get to open it so it's like a really weird birthday christmas all in one so I hope that was enough of the box that you guys could see and everything. And let's take her out of the box. So I want to bring up one thing really quick before I take her completely out of the box is that she has only twisty ties. Now, if you guys open a lot of the new Barbies, like the any name any Barbie that's new, <laughs> I just couldn't pick up one in my head. And they're all done now by like clear rubber bands stuck in, and they have like little plastic pieces. Do I have any like scrap? paper here stuff that I opened. It's like opening up a Monster High doll. Yeah, it's kind of like opening up a Monster High doll. Sorry, we just opened the style Barbies the other day and I like happened in the trash in here. Um, but see, they have like all the plastic pieces in here and they have like plastic pieces on the back of the head. So a lot of plastic and banding, which is like to me a little bit unnecessary to have all of that. But I want to show you the back of this doll, like how she comes out, like four ties. <laughs> so Old Barbies used to have just the twisty ties on these and that's it. So if you guys haven't opened up older dolls, maybe um, if you're like a little bit younger and you haven't seen that, that's how they used to do all the dolls. So that was just something kind of like I was taking it out and I had this like moment of nostalgia going, oh, twisty ties. Now some dolls still have twisty ties. I mean, they're just not as prevalent in a lot of dolls. So I wanted to throw that in really quick before I take her out. So I got her out of the box and sorry, I'm like, there's a thing in her hair and I'm trying to fix it and it's not working, cooperating with me. Okay, <laughs> so I got her out of the box and you guys are probably wondering, I hope the camera can pick it up just to see how it's a little sad. Now, uh, I know on some of the past Barbie videos, we've talked a little bit about how aging of dolls, like the rubber bands deteriorate, um, humidity is really bad, heat's really bad for dolls over time if you keep them in the box and stuff. And this is a perfect example of heat with fabric. So I will hold it here. Hopefully Chase can zoom in and see this. Um, this jacket's supposed to have more like a leather, like a pink pleather look to it. And you can probably see here, see how it's peeling off? This just happens over time, heat damage. Uh, so this whoever owned this dog prior to being at the thrift store maybe didn't have it in the best conditions. It probably wasn't air conditioned and stuff like that. Um, or if it was, 
this material might just be a little cheaper and is just damaging because it's old. So it's a little sad. What I'm probably going to do is, because I don't like how it looks splotchy like that, I'm probably just going to rip off all the peeling on it and then just have it as like a mesh jacket instead. So I'm a little sad that it looks like that. I mean, I love the shiny pink jacket on it. As you can see here, we've got um, a picture of Minnie Mouse on her little side here, a lot of gold accents. This, of course, isn't peeling because it's an actual like hard gold fabric. Uh, she does have cool, really big hoop pink earrings with the triangles on it, and I mean, come on, 80s, 90s earrings were always chunky and big and gaudy and plastic, and they were so cool, and I love them. <laughs> so it has like traditional like 90s style earrings, got her big poofy bangs, and her hair is absolutely gorgeous. Silky smooth, no product, super long, a couple little loose hairs here that need to just be brushed out, which, you know, is normal. But that's one thing I love about the older dolls, the hair quality is so good on it. And now she does have Mickey ears on, and they are stuck into her head hold with plastic, so you can cut them off and put them in other dolls. Um, way back on Instagram when I went to Disney a year ago, I took one of my Operetta dolls and put ears on it from when I had another Disney doll when I was younger, and everybody's like, where'd you get them from? Well, it was from an old Disney Barbie. <laughs> and I mean, people can make them and stuff, but it's just so cool to have it, and it has like the little like uh, Mickey symbol on the top there, so it's really cute. And then dress-wise is so adorable. I'm going to be gentle because I know the fabric's a little old on this and I don't want to like tear the jacket. So you guys can see that it is a sleeveless dress. Is it a halter? Oh, oh no, it's just a sleeveless dress. And has mini all over it. The little tag inside does say Disney, so you know, of course, it's official um, if somebody was ever to take the clothes off. And the dress is just adorable. Like, if this was a real dress, I would buy it. I think it's so cute. I love the polka dots to it. Even though it's really simple, it does look really, really pretty. And then her shoes are super basic, but, sorry, the shoe came off. <laughs> okay, super basic, but one thing that you can probably see here is that they're just tennis shoes. They made them pink. And if you watch the Calvin Klein Barbie review I did, they're the exact same ones in white. So this is going back to how Barbie never had really creative shoes until maybe the past 10 to 15 years where they started giving her very unique heels and tennis shoes and stuff like that. So it's literally the same tennis shoe, but in pink. And then if you guys like the heel to flat dolls that have come out, obviously they're, she, her foot is molded for a high heel, but then they just put on a shoe like that. So she can't really stand on flat feet. She's more like on tippy toes constantly. So that's one downside of old Barbies. Now her accessories, oh gosh, like as you can see, the jacket is like peeling every time I touch it, which is annoying. Mm, sorry, girl. Okay, now she does come with this, which is so cute. So going to Disney, you have to get obviously some merchandise and she got this really cool balloon. It's actually pretty heavy plastic. So I don't know how I'm going to display this doll. We'll figure this out. Um, but it goes on her wrist like this and it's yellow plastic with a Mickey sticker on the front, which I actually have a blue one, I think somewhere from my old dolls. And it doesn't really stay on very well. It should be, let me try to actually, if I can rubber band it really stiff, it may stay. But I wanted to show you guys what that looked Okay, it looks like this. <laughs> it's not wanting to stay with me. And this is the cutest thing ever. Uh, I'm gonna actually try to make a real size one of these. It's a purse. It's a Mickey ear purse. And it goes on like this. And it's adorable. And oh my gosh, like it looks so cool. So let me see, does it actually open? Probably doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. It actually opens. Not a big opening, so she can't really fit a lot of stuff in there, but it does have a little gap. So she can actually like use it. That is so cute, oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. And then it came with a brush. And for some reason, like, Barbie's brushes would always come matching with the outfit. But this is orange. Maybe they just had a lot of orange brushes that day, and they're just like, okay, give the Disney Barbie orange brushes. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Okay, her shoes don't want to stay on. But this is so cute. Again, comment below. Let me know if you guys are familiar with the Disney Barbies. And if it has anybody heard, I don't even know what the last year of the Disney Barbies were made. Let me know, because now I want to start hunting for them. But I love it. And my favorite piece of this, obviously, are the ears. I mean, come on. How adorable is this? And they actually fit on other dolls, like Ever After High and Monster High. So I may I may actually try taking them off and putting them on another doll to show you guys on Instagram or something. Which reminds me, if you guys are not following us, definitely follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And send us pictures, you guys. This is Barbie Week. So if you guys have like some cool Barbies or want to share something with us, we get a lot of people who do direct send us pictures on Instagram and on Facebook. I do look at them, I promise. <laughs> uh, even if I don't get back to, you know, right away with you guys. So yeah, send us some Barbie pics. I'm excited to see what your little Barbie collections look like, or big ones. You probably have more than me out there. I've not as many as some people. 
So again, super cute comment. What do you guys think about the Disney Barbie? Again, this is Disney Fun Barbie from 94 because they did make a lot of them. And she kind of looks like Carissa Sparkles, which is a YouTuber I really like, and she was just in Disney. So she kind of has like that look and I love the purse with it too. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love. So make sure to subscribe with us and join our circle and watch all of our Barbie videos this week because there's going to be more Barbie fun. Thank, thank you guys. Bye.